We recently got a message from one of you guys that regularly view the channel asking us to do a long overdue update on our bamboo here on the farm. It's been quite some time. Uh, so today is just a, a quick look round how the bamboo's been getting on through its last drought or dry season. We're also going to be carrying out a job while we're here. What are we doing? Chop the bamboo. Chop the bamboo, excellent. We're going to be cutting the dead bamboo poles out. If you haven't watched any of our previous bamboo videos, bamboo was one of the first things that we planted here on the farm, actually before we moved here. We started off originally with about 100 plants uh, and then we propagated our own cuttings. I think the current stock is somewhere near 150 plants. Now this was the first year that we haven't irrigated our plants at all zero water and up until a month ago you couldn't see the the soil here it's not that it was covered with vegetation uh, but we had it all nicely covered with the leaves from the bamboo and the leaves from these government trees along the road there but as everything dries out the goats quite like them and at the moment it's okay because we've only got nine goats here small goats but at one point we had 26 here 26 even young goats take a lot of feed in each day. So unfortunately, they've eaten our thick mulch. Okay, if you see this pole here, it looks fine down the bottom. As it comes up, it's gradually drying out and eventually that's dead at the top and then you'll get little termites and weevils in there, destroying it. You can see the burrowed in there. So, we will be cutting this down almost flush to the floor later on and then it will just rot. As far as rainfall goes, we had four days on the trot of rain. Three of those days were just very light showers and then we had the real big heavy, well it was, it was storm like conditions and we got a few hours of it. That was about five, six days ago and you can see the bamboos just sprung into life. There wasn't a single leaf on here over a week ago. Down there. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, six, six. All right, Tim wants me to cut these off here. Yeah. You can just, if you look closely here, you can see the little roots there. This, this is the Taiwan bamboo. You just cut it here, or some people cut it here and pop that in at a, a 45 degree angle. All right, this is. We're going to propagate a few more and, and put them in some areas on the land that are wet most of the year. If we don't get this done within the next day or so, then the, the leaves will have grown too much and the new branches and all that sort of stuff. It, it, it's a really big job then. It's big enough now, although Toon's doing it all. So we get it out now, easy to pull the poles out. See all the goat muck that we put in here is broken down nicely. Uh, the biochar is gradually working its way in there as well. But it's good, you can actually get your get your hands into there. Whereas over here, uh, zero. Always a warm, sweaty job, this one, guys. But in another month or so, It'll be one of the coolest places on the farm to do a day's work once the canopy closes over towards the end of the last rainy season although it was a short rainy season really um yeah it was just about closed apart from the this outside line here which was uh that's that's the youngest bamboo plants that we've got here uh, but everyone out everywhere else was oh, it's lovely and cool nice place to be the first four foot of the the plants the goats keep trimmed back, anything that dies or isn't growing quite right, doesn't look strong, then we whip it out. So everything sort of like low, uh, low to the ground, uh, there's a nice bit of airflow and then the canopy is all closed over the top. You and Natasha's happy? You like your bamboo leaves, don't you missus, eh? They're organic, you know, only the best for our girls. Still all right, this one. Uh, this particular bamboo plant looks a little bit worse for wear. There's a good reason. You just look here. Toon says that's a moth. 
that's done that perfect circular hole there so uh, that's got to come out just have to be a little bit careful don't be too hasty thinking that these bamboos are, are dead when they're coming out of the dry season if you look just down here where's they're it gone you see new shoots coming out and this is still early so it's not even one week since it's, we've had the proper rain so although these look a bit of a state up here it's the new stuff that comes up you know and it can grow a foot a day no problem so don't worry about the old stuff looking a bit scrag end all right santa mate how you doing just spotted another hole in this one so it's, for some reason they've had a right old go at this one and we'll just take it off and uh, hopefully it'll come back okay. where are your power gone <laughs> Shouldn't work together, one hole, one shop. If they spring back to you, sadly. Lily, Lily. Get up. Here. Mm. Me, should shop like this. Not one hour for one tree. We won't be wasting all these bits. They're horrible, really. I've covered this before. What, what I do is bundle them all together, tie them into a big bundle and weight it down and launch it into our crayfish pond. Some of these branches, this sort of size, I keep for in the vegetable garden as well. Use them for keep me tom tommy tomatoes up. Nearly four lines done. Not even anywhere near halfway. We'll probably get this line finished and then we'll call it a, a day for this. Can't do it all in one day, it's, it's heavy going. Like Tuma say, it's very, very dangerous. Purely because it's, it's spring loaded bamboo and if it suddenly goes one end, you can easily impale yourself. One of the probably the worst injury apart from my. My eye getting an infection from streaming uh, was from cutting bamboo and I was holding onto one end while I was cutting the other end and it sprang and it and it, it went through three of these fingers and it was the proper deep red blood coming out. It was proper, proper, proper deep and they, they've never been quite the same since my three fingers. Whenever you see the bamboo puckering up, so you see these ridges starting to form, then uh, it means something's got in there and it's eating it from the inside and it's just sucking it dry. Generally, you don't get that sort of thing in the, the rain season because everything's growing so fast that bugs can't keep up with it. But as soon as it's the dry season sets in, then uh, bits and bobs will start pecking at the outside of the bamboo and if they can get inside then of course they're they're protected from predators and they're nice and dry and warm and uh, they can eat to their heart's content so you can see in here it's a, it's a little bit powdery but it's nothing to worry about just cut it off this will eventually rot down and then it will just fall over round about here uh, and then it, it, it naturally leaves room for, for the new shoots to come up you can see some old shoots here that came up just a little bit too late when the uh, the rain stopped. It all adds to the mulch, which we really, really do need. So this year is going to be all about building up a thicker layer of mulch than we did last year, although it looked pretty impressive before the goats noshed on it. Uh, this year should be really good. The boss has said she just wants to do one more before we call it a day. And this one, for some reason, we've had two big poles fall down in the storm the other day, which is a bit of a surprise because they're, they're well protected in the middle here. So I don't know whether anything's got in them. Any bug or not? 
just fallen, very shallow rooted bamboo. Dig it out and put in somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll we'll regrow it and look at that. that where is... you want me to start here? Uh, there, where you've got it now. Yeah. Yeah, grow the lower bit and beautiful. Oh I think I know what I'm gonna do Whoa. with this already. Whoa! You get any? Yeah. What did it taste like? It tastes like water. It's the water. It doesn't taste like bamboo then? No. Oh. Wow. I mean, got in here. I'm gonna get your mug bubbling there. Oh, that's not it all come out then? No. Amazing water. Right. I'm going to show you, wow. get from this one before. Oh, and would then, that mean that the water stops at each one here or not? Mm-hmm. So you can't lose the whole lot in one go, you mean? Yeah. Ah. So the knuckles go all the way through? Mm. All the way across? Yeah. Wow. Right, I'm going to get you water. Clever, isn't you, eh? Any? You said you're getting it for me. Tiny bit. <laughs> About that bit. That three, four drop. Is it nice? Sweet. Sorry, I'll get you that one if you want. No, I don't want to waste all the bamboo. I want to use that for building in my vegetable garden. I'll make the mug on with this, make the grass. It's all right for shots, isn't it? Quite a small hole, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, put the chop full in and... Get the straw, don't you need the straw? <laughs> you need a straw. That's not a straw. Hmm. Not got hole. Yeah. <laughs> you want to blow the ants out of it first? Hang on, let me get it on camera. Jesus. Hmm. I'll do. Yeah? You sure? Yeah! It's the best clean water ever! Please don't mow! <laughs> I'm not sure whether our straw is clean or not. Yeah. So when I cut it, got some dirt going there. So that's got dirt in there then? No, dirt from bamboo. Oh. They clean. So I get up, my. Not drinking out of a bloody pond, that. You just finished them. Didn't finish it. Loads in there. It's not. <laughs> you bloody blah, but you finished it. <sighs> my, that one. Right. Get up. This will be it now. She's going to be cutting all the bamboo down just to drink water when we got water <laughs> back at the house. <laughs> I love this own style when you go in the forest. That's what you got water from. Oh, oh. no, it's going. So I got your dirty straw ready. Mama, mama. Hang on, I'm going to check. <laughs> Check for animals first. Get rid I'm going to suck all the ants out. Not a lot. Don't know. What the heck is that? Well, that's why it's tasting funky, then, isn't it? That's not come out my gums. It's probably some bloody bug larvae. <laughs> See, I reckon there's a bug in the straw. I don't think so. <laughs> Why does it taste like my old socks? No, I never ate your sock, did I? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. If you uh, if you own a bamboo <laughs> forest and you've already got water, 
But your bamboo's falling down. Don't don't just throw it away. Just chop the end off and uh, yeah. drink the delicious sweet water that yes, nature's created for us. It is. It's good for me. I love it. Just make sure you got a clean straw first. Put down now. You job to light them down. Keep doing. Keep going. Turn, turn, turn. Go, 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 go. Yeah, pull out. There they go. They love the bamboo leaf. Good for them. Come on, my goat hungry. Do your job. Yeah, you keep. I can't see the goats. You keep an eye. Yeah. Dear me. All right. Yeah. Pull out. That's it. Let them down. Okay. Brilliant. Well done, I'll give you five out of ten. So the goats will clean the leaves off, then we'll come back, cut off the bits that yeah. we're going to make new plants with. Yeah. Uh, take the other branches off and use it for a building project. Fantastic. And loads of digi delicious, delicious free water. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> this we're going to come cut down here later on. Cut the some top of we leave about 50 centimeter or what you call five, five centimeter this good root in here a good goal mm -hmm.